have more breaking news right now. A prosecutor in South Carolina says the state will seek the death penalty against alleged church shooter Dylan Roop. He is the man prosecutors say admitted to gunning down nine African American parishioners inside a historical black church in Charleston. Roof, who is white, faces 33 federal counts, including murder as well as hate crimes. Let's bring in CNN legal analyst and criminal defense attorney Philip Holloway. First, explain what needs to be argued in court to meet the death penalty standard in South Carolina, Philip. Nice to be with you, Anna. What they have done is they filed documents that have said that this crime meets the uh, definition that uh, is required for death penalty litigation in that state, specifically that more than one person was involved. Now, I have said all along, I think back in June, I wrote an op-ed for CNN Opinion on this, and I said, look, South Carolina, despite the fact that it has no hate crime legislation, is well capable of telling a jury that this was racially motivated, that this was a hate crime, and that he is probably on the express lane to the death chamber. And I think what I have predicted back in June is playing out in court right now. Now, Dylan Roof, at his first court appearance, we saw it, we showed it here right here on CNN. He got forgiveness from family members of the victims who said publicly they forgave him. Would those victims' family members have been consulted in making a decision about whether to move forward in the death penalty? In all likelihood, yes. Uh, prosecutors typically take into consideration the, the wishes of the family uh, when they make these decisions. Decisions. Um, for example, in the James Holmes uh, trial that I know that you followed very closely mm -hmm. uh, in Colorado, a lot of those family members opposed the state seeking the death penalty. Now, there's a big difference between Colorado and South Carolina. Colorado rarely uses the death penalty. South Carolina is much more likely to. In fact, you had the governor coming out right at the time and saying, look, this is a death penalty case. In addition, I think it's probably too soon. I know the federal government has weighed in and they filed charges, but I feel that it's most appropriate for South Carolina to prosecute this case. I think they can seek the death penalty. I think they will get the death penalty. Guilt or innocence is a foregone conclusion, uh, and I do think a jury probably would uh, vote to send him to the death chamber. All right, Philip Holloway, we'll stay on top of it. Thanks so much. Thank you.